Hi everyone, it's James in Japan. It is October 30th, 2023. I have received my colorectal cancer screening kit. It's called Ogon Kensa Kit. The government sends a notice to anyone who's a certain age and you have the option of getting this screening only for 500 yen, so why not? Here is the due date, March 15th, 2024. So once I complete this test, I mail it in. I'm gonna show you the contents. Here is some reading material about the colorectal cancer screening kit in Japanese. This is instructions on how to send the kit by mail. And that is the deadline date at the bottom. Okay. You have me, so you don't really need to read this. I had to cover up some important information, my address, my full name, my date of birth, my phone number. Okay, I need to fill in this questionnaire. This is my receipt. I've already paid through my number my number is like a social insurance system, social security for all residents of Japan. Okay, and here I have to record uh, when I take the test. I have to write the date and the time, a.m. or p.m. I think you're supposed to do it consecutively. So if I do it tomorrow morning, then I should do it the day after tomorrow in the morning. You can choose whatever date or whatever time you want to record yourself to test your stoop, your poop. I would prefer to do it in the morning because I feel fresh. I mean, I do it before I eat anything. It's up to you. You can eat something and then test yourself. If you can't go, then just eat something and then take the test after when you feel like going. Okay. Some more information about it. And here is the envelope that you use. You do not need a stamp. This tells you you don't need a stamp. It's already been paid for. And there's the expiry date. When you have the completed test in this envelope and sealed, check these two boxes. Make sure that you have the uh, well, I'll show you the contents in a moment. Okay, and you need to glue this or tape it. Okay, and then put this in the mailbox or just bring it to your nearest Japan Post. So this is the colorectal cancer screening test. It says stool collection sheet. You get two vials. It doesn't matter which is first, I guess. Um, maybe this is first and second, day one, day two. You will write your full name here, indicate whether you're a male or female, and your age. And then the date of the test, so not your date of birth, okay? So it's 2023, so 2023 here. Then October is 10, and tomorrow's date is Halloween, so it's 31. And if I choose 8, I would write just 8. You don't need to write AM. If it's in the evening, 8, then you would write 20. Okay, they use military hours here in Japan. Okay, and you would do the same thing for this one for the next day or whenever you do the test. What you have to do is cut this open or just tear it. It's zip locked. I think, oh, this is different. 
features, it's a little bit different. Okay, this sheet is a lot smaller than previous years. Okay, I'm gonna just zoom back out. Yeah, it used to be a huge sheet, and then you would place this, uh, you would place toilet paper in the bowl. You would take several sheets of toilet paper and layer them in the bowl and then you would put, place this big sheet, it used to be bigger than this, on top of the toilet paper, and then you would do your testing around here. There used to be a big star, but <laughs> they removed it. I mean, they don't have it this time. It says cut line. So you get two of these for day one and day two. So as you can see from the illustration, if I tilt it this way, so what do you have to do? You don't need toilet paper anymore. Oh, okay. So this, it's a band. So this would go over the toilet seat. Okay, just over the toilet seat as shown in illustration three. Okay, so you would stretch it out like this and then place it over the toilet seat and then it'll look like this not touching the water hopefully position yourself target yourself okay do your thing now if you're taking a big long one then it might rip okay so make sure that your toilet isn't an auto flusher and Japanese toilets are auto flushing so as soon as you get up from the seat it'll flush and then you've done that for nothing so remove the power cord do your testing with this okay inside when you open this vial you'll see it like a toothpick you're going to use the toothpick to grab some samples of your stoop put enough inside the vial there's a liquid in solution inside and then you would close it up and then record your information as mentioned before and then you would put it back in here all right here or here it doesn't matter first second second first doesn't matter okay but I like to do I like to be consistent so I'll put one and two day one and day two and I would do it over here as well. For the first time, I would write the month and the day. So if it's October 31st, 10.31, 10.31. That's the first test. And if I decide to do the second test in November, let's say November 1st, I would write here 11.01 and here 11.01 for the second test and indicate that you're a male or female, your age, and your full name as on the vials. So that's it. I've been doing this for years now, so I've had a clean bill of health, and I recommend getting this test done, guys. Here are clear instructions on how to take the test. Okay, you place the sheet over the toilet, you open the vial cap, like this and then you would take a sample of your stoop your poop like this okay crossing I know it's disgusting it'll look like this okay <laughs> okay and then carefully insert your sample into the vial to mix with the solution okay you can shake it I've done it many times Okay, once you lock it, and then wash your hands, of course. Okay, you should have two completed vials with your stoop.